Hello guys, welcome back to Sussex Squad Forever. Thank you for clicking on today's podcast. As always, if you're new here, kindly don't forget to subscribe and join our family. I'm going to get right into it. Today, we're going to be talking about the incredible Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, who is being hailed everywhere. There, people are raving and ranting and raging about him all up and down the social media, talking about him because he attended the warrior games 2023 and was in support of the injured warrior injured warriors injured soldiers in the u.s in san diego everyone is raging and loving it and i am just so happy to see this so very happy to see this development prince harry is a good-natured and kind-hearted man who proves it over and over again i mean what's there not to love about this guy nothing 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 and he is looking absolutely amazing supporting veterans supporting veterans in the u.s and it is an amazing sight to see the stars have aligned for prince harry the people's prince and it is just so good to see him enjoying his life i mean he was trending everywhere people are talking about him while uh he was at the warrior games they're even talking about the invictus games which is coming up in less than 90 days 88 days to be precise invictus games is currently trending all over twitter people are raving about it they can't wait to see what will happen because the warrior games you know was an inspiration uh that brought prince harry to a uh, form or or rather found the Invictus Games which first took place in 2014 so as we all know Prince Harry is a 10 year military veteran who was inspired by the US Warrior Games and proceeded to found the Invictus Games so if you don't know what the Invictus Games are about the games harness the power of sport to inspire recovery, support rehabilitation, and generate a wider understanding and respect for wounded veterans. That is what the Invictus Games is about. That is what the Warrior Games are about. And it is just an amazing sight to see this man who is so, first of all, he has been wronged so much by the royal family because we know Prince Harry was in the military. He served his country. He went on tours for his country in Afghanistan. He has actually served in the military. And what did his family proceed to do? They stripped him of his titles. Any chance they get, they try and demean him and dishonor him by not allowing him to wear his military uniform whenever he is in the UK, attending important um, historical functions like uh, when the Queen died. He was not allowed to wear his military uniform. When the king was being coronated, he wasn't allowed to wear his military uniform. This is a man who has served his country with pride and honor. And simply because he decided to step down from his duties in the royal family, they decided to dishonor him, strip him of his military titles. But Prince Harry has not taken that to heart. He has not taken that to heart because to this day, he continues to serve the people, to serve his fellow veterans. He is very passionate about people who have served their countries, both in the US and the UK, and supports them whenever he can, however he can. And now he is being applauded everywhere for his actions, and it is about time. It is about time, seriously. So, on the... So on the final day of competition for the Warrior Games 2023, it was extra special because there was a visit from Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Prince Harry spent time with athletes and their families and watched the sitting volleyball finals as the 2023 Warrior Games came to a close. He was actually participating, watching these people, cheering them on. It was an amazing sight to see, just see him interacting with these people, with these families and just having a huge smile on his face because you know this is something prince harry is passionate about and the royal family basically stripped it and took it away from him i remember when there was the memorial day because each year there's a memorial day for remembering the 
warriors, the soldiers who served and lost their lives while in service of their country, there is always a memorial day to remember them. And Prince Harry wasn't even allowed to lay a wreath, lay a wreath in support of them as he always has done and personally him personally being a member or having served for he, in his country for his country as well that must have must have cut him deep that must have truly cut him deep because he was not allowed to lay a wreath on these graves and why he wasn't allowed to even pay his respect simply because he does not or he is no longer an active serving member of the royal family I mean to demean this person to this point simply because he no longer wanted to sit there and deal with you constantly attacking his family, wanted to move away and just live his life in peace. That doesn't negate, that doesn't remove everything he has done to serve his country. That doesn't change the fact that he served his country. So I do not get the logic, I do not get how it makes sense. For people who barely served the royal family simply because they're still members to be allowed to wear military uniforms, be given all these titles, be allowed, given the honor and respect when they do not deserve it. But this one man who's made it his life mission to serve his country, even while he's all the way in the U.S., he is still... Uh, bringing people together, showing that veterans, no matter where you're from, the US, the UK, they're all one. And he is supporting them. He is supporting them without any bias, you know, just out of the goodness of his heart. And it is amazing to see. I mean, Harry is looking happy. He is looking healthy. He is doing what, he's lo what he loves. This is not the look of a man who is ever going to go backwards. This is a man who has just found his mission in life. He's found his position in life. He's found his stepping in life. He's found his footing in life. He is doing extraordinarily well. He's having a beautiful, beautiful time. And so we love it. We love it. We love it so much. We love the collaboration we see in the works between the Invictus and Warrior Games. Prince Harry is doing amazing things. And you, if you do not see it, then you are just being delusional. If you're hating on Prince Harry, you are being delusional. We couldn't be more proud of him. Honestly, his global support for all the veterans, we could not be more proud of him. So I would like to say a huge thank you. Thank you to the Duke of Sussex, to Prince Harry, for all he does to help the wounded, the ill, and the injured service members. Thank you so much to Prince Harry for cheering on wounded military veterans at the Warrior Games, for forming and founding the Invictus Game. It is just amazing and heartwarming to see the level of love and caring this man has towards the people who have served the country. He is still serving them to this day. Thank you so much and just keep up the good work. We love to see it, Prince Harry. The Sussex squad is behind you. People who are not lesion, people who are not blinded by the royal family and all the influence they have with the control over the media to try and poison people's minds against Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. It is not working. It no longer works. People love him. In the U.S., Prince Harry is loved so, so much. He received a standing ovation after giving his speech at the end of the World Year Games. People love this man. He is just an inspiration. I mean, he is authentic. He has compassion. He is dedicated to important causes. That is what has earned them the global support, not simply because of being born in the royal family. They have actually earned their place. They have actually gone the extra mile of dedicating their lives to important causes. They have heavily impacted mental health, racial equity, their support for the veterans, wounded veterans, ill veterans. Their support... I mean, it's amazing to see and I feel like we should all try and emulate and focus on spreading positivity and supporting the people who actually make a difference rather than joining controversial people who are seeking to ruin and slander people's names just for the sake of earning a buck, for the sake of making money they're willing to slander and 
call people all sorts of names and demean them in every which way they can just to earn money instead of actually supporting Prince Harry and the Duchess Meghan for doing amazing works and touching people's lives in ways that change their lives completely in ways that we cannot even people who are in power normally don't even think about that people who have the level of influence usually don't think about people this way so this is what i wanted to share with you today it is such a wholesome thing to see anywhere you click on any social media you will see him being praised for the good work that he's doing our good king harry hashtag hashtag warrior games 2023 hashtag invictus games 2023 hashtag prince harry all these hashtags are trending and people are loving it they love to see it also thank you so much to all the people who have served the con- our country all the people who served the US, the UK and countries all over the world just giving their lives up in service of the country to protect the the citizens just to serve their countries we are in awe of all these athletes all the athletes who performed in the warrior games their perseverance to compete despite having injuries you know it is amazing to see it is amazing to see and we love to see that prince harry was inspired you know he was inspired by the warrior games to make his invictus games he is in fact representing the unity between these two countries the US and the UK even though they're not doing most of it by himself single handedly he is representing unity so we are grateful to all the service members of the people who've given their lives who've lost limbs and have been maimed in service of their country all those people who've come up come out with trauma because of serving their country and everything that they do thank you so much for your service it's amazing to see and let's all emulate in prince harry's footsteps what do you think share with me all your thoughts in the comments down below what do you think about the fact that prince harry is always out here representing the veterans representing causes he's passionate for he really truly does love the veterans you know he is uh, it's such a beautiful image. We love seeing Prince Harry extending his love, care, and support towards the wounded, towards the injured people. He's taking time to show them that they actually do matter. They do matter and they are important. And it, I can't imagine how special these people feel because of all the hard work they've put to get through their injuries, all the suffering they've gone through. They've worked hard at their bodies despite having all these injuries that must have been a pain to, you know, go through the therapy and to not let it hold you down or bring you back down. They are an inspiration. All these people, it is so heartwarming and heartwarming to see and it lifts my spirit. It makes me feel so good inside just to see this. I don't know. What do you think? I just wanted to share this positivity with you to spread this love because it is what we are all about here at sussex squad forever so i think i'm gonna end there today let's share with me down your comments below what do you love about this moment about prince harry are you looking forward to the invictus games that are happening in roughly 88 days now let me know thank you thank you so much for listening to me for watching this video as always don't forget to like share comment and most importantly, subscribe to our channel and give us your support. Until next time, bye.